everybody welcome back or if you're here for the first time then welcome to my channel my name is Vicky so today's video is another video about the house of color seasons and I'm going to be talking about another season so I did put up one of these videos previously about my season I'm an autumn so I spoke about the autumn season and the sub seasons within autumn as well so the four different sub seasons and I had a comment on that video asking if I could do this for the other seasons so that is what I'm going to be doing and first up or actually second up because I've done autumn but next up I'm going to be talking about the other warm season which is spring so before we get into it, I do just kind of need to say my disclaimer again, I am not a house of colour consultant, I am a client, a very enthusiastic client, I'm loving the process of trying to learn more about both my colour season and my style, my clothing and personality as well. So yeah, I'm not a consultant, I'm just a client, so if I have missed out any information and you yourself are either a consultant or you are a spring, please do drop me a comment down below with some information that other people would need to know when learning more about spring. So just a quick little recap about House of Colour. So with the House of Colour system, it is a 16 season system. So when you go for your colour analysis, you find out whether you are a spring, summer, autumn or a winter. So you will be one of four seasons. You have two warm seasons, which are your spring and autumns. And then your cool seasons are summer and winter. And within each of the four seasons, there are sub seasons. There are four sub seasons for each season. So I'm going to talk about the four sub seasons of spring, what they look like, what the recommended colours for those seasons are and some suggestions on things like makeup and also I will leave some information about a few House of Colour consultants that I've kind of found along the way as part of my both my journey and also trying to research some information for this video. So when you go to your House of Colour appointment and you get colour analysed you will be given a colour fan. This one is mine so this one is the autumn one. I don't have colour fans for the other seasons so I'm unfortunately not able to show you what the spring one looks like and also the same for summer and winter however house of color did recently come out with these four new kind of overviews of the different palettes that you could purchase so i bought all four of those and this one is the spring one so when you find out what season you are analyzed as there are some keywords to remember to describe your season. So for spring, the words are clear, bright, warm, light and splashy. So if you're looking at a makeup colour, if you're looking at a colour of a piece of clothing, try to remember these keywords. So look at that colour and go, is it warm? Well, no, it's cool tone, so then that's not for you. Is it light? Is it clear? Is it splashy? Is it bright? So try to remember those words when it comes to figuring out if colours suit you or don't suit you. So spring along with autumn are the two warm seasons within the House of Colour system. And you might be thinking, well, what is the difference, first of all, between a spring and an autumn? So, for example, when I had my appointment, when we determined that I was warm, I then got draped in spring colours and autumn colours. So I would get draped and say, excuse me I'm losing my voice in like a spring yellow and an autumn yellow a spring pink and an autumn pink and what I noticed with the drapes was just how much brighter the spring colours are in comparison to the autumn colours so the autumn colours are typically a little bit more muted they're they're warmer they're they're earthier whereas with the spring colours they've got a brightness about them a, a freshness about them as well and interestingly, today I was browsing on Instagram and somebody that I follow who's a House of Colour consultant, her handle is House of Colour Loveland Amy, I'm pretty sure I will link her in the description down below. She's an autumn and she put up today a video, a reel, comparing the autumn colours to the spring colours. So that was incredibly handy before I sit down and film this video. And she said what you want to kind of bear in mind is that the spring colours are splashy in comparison to the autumn colours. So in the video I think she compared oranges and the greens and the oranges are splashier, they're brighter than the autumn orange. The autumn or oranges have a bit of like brownness behind them, a little bit of like rustiness behind them. Similar kind of thing with the greens, the greens again are splashier, they're brighter, they're more vivid, whereas with an autumn green they're a bit earthier. 
so although they are both warm you do need to kind of look for those differences in the colours. So springs need to be brighter, lighter, splashier, and then your autumn warm toned colours are gonna to be earthier and a bit more kind of muted. So anyway, let's get into the four different sub seasons and we're gonna go from lightest right through to darkest. So the lightest sub season of spring is the pastel spring and this contains the lightest, the softest, the least intense and saturated shades from within the spring palette. So think of taking a picture of a colour on your phone and just completely dialing down the intensity and the saturation of that colour and that is what the pastel spring colours typically are. So these are the colours that are going to best suit you if you are a if you are a pastel spring it's going to be the lightest the softest colors that have the least intensity and saturation now because i don't have a spring fan and because i wasn't actually able to find individual spring colors online when i was doing my research i can't actually say the exact shades on your color fan that are best suited to each of the four sub seasons but just bear in mind how I'm describing the sub-season. So if you are spring and you have your colour fan and you are a pastel spring, look at the lightest, the softest colours from within your colour fan and those are probably going to be the colours that best suit you. So look at your wow colours. So what has your consultant said that are your wow colours? And if you are pastel spring, it will more than likely be the lightest, the softest colours. My battery is about to die. Give me just a sec. There we go, I'm back for the full battery. So with a pastel spring, this is the sub-season of spring that is closest to summer. So somebody who's a pastel spring might be mistaken for being a summer and typically a pastel spring would have very sort of like light colouring. Now I know this isn't true for absolutely everybody, there are going to be anomalies within each of the seasons but that is just how stereotypically somebody who is a pastel spring might look like. So because with pastel spring, because the colours that best suit you are the lightest ones and the intensity and the saturation is really quite low, with your makeup, very light, soft, natural, gentle makeup is going to be best suited to you. So like I did with my autumn sub-seasons video, I've also included information from House of Colour Ashley Shyrock. Shyrock. Hmm. Ashley Shyrock. <laughs> I can never pronounce things when I film these videos. I don't know what is wrong with me. I swear when I'm not filming videos, I know, I know how to pronounce words, but it just doesn't translate when I film. But anyway, I used her pictures from uh, when I did my autumn sub-season video because she's got these great infographics about the different sub-seasons for all of the House of Colour seasons. So she lays out the best drapes, the wow colours for each of the sub-seasons and makeup suggestions as well. So again, I will link her Instagram, go and check her out. It's really, really useful. And actually what I will say before I talk about um, makeup for Pastel Springs is when it comes to following House of Colour consultants on Instagram, don't just follow consultants that have the same season as you. So. I follow a lot of autumn House of Colour consultants on Instagram because obviously they will show makeup and clothes that best suit them and then I can kind of take some inspiration from that. But I also follow consultants that have the same clothing personality as me and not all of them will be autumns, there will be, so for example I, I follow a spring natural classic but also I follow other consultants from other seasons that post really good content so go and check out as many of the consultants on Instagram as you possibly can and if you resonate with their content if you really like the content that they're putting up go and follow them because they won't just post content about their own season they'll post content about the other seasons so they'll you know put up pictures about all your different three points of red or the best hair colors for all of the seasons or the best shades of denim for all of the seasons as well so if you really want to maximize the information about your own season and also house of color as a whole go and follow as many as you possibly can but anyway back to ashley's photo and the makeup she suggests for pastel springs 
So there are a couple of lip glosses that she recommends. So numbers 73 and 66. Now what with spring being a warm season, there is a little bit of overlap sometimes with the colors and the makeup into autumns. And I actually have number 66 lip gloss. This is the lightest of the four lip glosses that I own as an autumn. This one is the shade Warm Apricot. So this is actually a suggested shade for the lightest autumn subseason which is soft autumn. So like with pastel spring, soft autumn is the most muted autumn season. So if you are a pastel spring, a really light lip gloss like this, that is gonna give you some pigmentation and some warmth to your lips, would look absolutely beautiful. Number 73 is a pink, it's crystal pink. That's not a recommended shade for autumn, so I don't have that one to show you guys. And then there's a couple of the liquid lipsticks as well. So shades 101 Spring Pink and 121 Sweet Sorbet. And then from the picture, shades of the blushes and the eyeshadows are very light, very soft. They are warm, but they're very light, warm pinks and like creams, beiges. So this is really gonna help you have that really like soft, light, very flattering makeup look for a pastel spring. Now before we move on, I am just gonna mention the three points of red. So when you get analyzed to your season, there are three points of red for each of the seasons and it's recommended that you have a lipstick in each of your three points of red. And the whole kind of reasoning behind the three points of red is that as, so for example, as an autumn, I sue all of my colors and I can wear all of my colors together. But if I was to wear, to wear some of my three points of red together, they might clash a little bit. So with springs, your three points of red are red, but it's gonna be a warm red. It's gonna have an orange undertone to it instead of a blue toned undertone because you are a warm season. You also have coral as well, and this is very similar to autumns. Autumns have a warm red and we have a coral. So for some of the lip shades suggested for springs, they will kind of overlap with what is suggested for autumns. But springs also have as another three points of red, pink. So if you're a spring and you're looking at getting, you know, some really good lip colours within your collection, get yourself a warm red, a coral and a pink. So the second sub-season is called Paintbox Spring and I think this is arguably my favourite sub-season of the spring palette because it's just such a happy, vibrant, colourful sub-season. So the colours within this sub-season are the brightest colours of the palette, whether they are warmer or cooler. And high saturation is key here, so you're thinking of the brightest, the vibrant, the most colourful colours within the spring palette. And it's called a paint box spring because these colours, I suppose, represent the colours of a paint tray or a box of crayons. So, for example, if you think of you know, kids when, when you're really really young or if you've got young kids and you give them a box of crayons, you're not gonna give them a box of crayons that have like shades of brown or shades of gray. You're gonna give them really bright, colorful, rainbow colored crayons. Now for me, when I think of this, of this sub-season, I picture like a bag of Skittles. So getting like a big multi-pack, share a bag of skittles opening it out pouring all the skittles out and you get this cascade of all these bright rainbow colors that is what i think of when i think of the paint box spring now this season doesn't border other seasons this season sits between the golden spring and the blue spring categories which i'm going to talk about later on and as this is the brightest of the spring sub seasons the makeup is also best when it's bright as well so very different to the pastel spring where the lightest, softest makeup is key. If you are a paint box spring, you can get away with brighter, more colorful makeup. So for lip glosses, number 73, the crystal pink is also suggested, but two of the lip glosses that are also recommended for autumns are suggested as well. So number 66, that warm apricot, that really light, warm, soft apricot shade and also a coral, number 72, so something a little bit brighter, and coral, one of your three points of red. So if you don't want to yet try a coral lipstick, you can go for a coral lip gloss. And there are two suggested liquid lip colours to go for, so also 101, which is spring pink, but also 114, which is melon punch, and this is also an autumn colour as well, and this is a very vibrant, bright, warm red. 
So this particular liquid lip colour would definitely suit your paintbox springs, but if you are an autumn watching this video and you're a vibrant autumn, this would be a beautiful colour for you. Okay, third sub-season of spring is the golden spring. And the colours for golden springs are the brightest, warmest colours within the spring palette. So these colours are going to be richer in comparison to the colours that we've seen for your pastel spring and your paint box spring. And the reason for this is because this particular sub-season borders autumn. So it might be that somebody who is a golden spring might look a little bit like they belong in the autumn family, but they suit spring because they are slightly brighter, slightly, again, that word, splashier. And somebody who's a golden spring might because of that as well also look like they kind of border into autumn as well so they might have like really warm golden blonde hair they might have really warm blue green eyes so because this sub season is warmer it's richer the makeup that you're going to suit is also warmer and richer as well and also this particular spring sub season might be referred to in other systems as like a true spring it's that typical spring palette that you might think of so for the makeup then there are five lip glosses that are suggested i own three of them so again it is 66 warm apricot number 72 coral so one of your three points of red and also another one of your three points of red which is your warm red this is number 86 paprika this is a very bright vibrant warm red this is a lovely like summer night out lip gloss color there's also another lip gloss that is suggested for this sub-season that's also suggested for autumns and it's the one out of the, the five lip glosses for autumns that I didn't buy. It's number 54, Copper. So this is another crossover shade that springs can wear as well. So if you are a golden spring, 54 Copper is also suggested for you. As is number 73, Crystal Pink. So another one of your three points of red, that pink shade. 114 Melon Punch Liquid Lip is also suggested as well. So again, that's that really bright, vibrant, warm red liquid lipstick. And like I say, because I don't have the colour fan for spring, so I can't tell you the individual shades, the best shades for Golden Springs would be your terracottas, your yellows, your tans, your browns. So look within your colour fan and if you see those colours, those will probably be the best colours for you. And again, check what your consultant has said are your wow colours. And then lastly, the fourth sub-season for springs is your blue spring. So where springs are a warm season, if you are a blue spring, you actually kind of sit a bit closer to being neutral so because of this you can get away with wearing mixed metals now for both springs and autumns because we are warm seasons our best metals are going to be things like yellow gold but if you are that blue spring you can get away with wearing a bit of silver and a bit of white gold in there as well so you can mix up your warm and your cool tone metals so the colours within the Blue Spring palette are the coolest shades within the Spring palette. They are the least yellow shades. And they will have full on intensity and contrast and they're, most, and they're also the most saturated and boldest colours within the Spring palette as well. And this palette, because it does lean towards being neutral, if you are a Blue Spring, your self season actually borders winter. So if you are Blue Spring, you might have dark features, dark hair, and you might look like you belong in the winter palette, but you have warm undertones, you do suit warmer colours more than cooler colours, but you wouldn't suit the warmest, richest, most yellow toned colours within the spring palette, like say a paint box would, or a golden spring would, you, see, you suit the cooler, but still warm colours within the spring palette. So for this sub-season, contrast really suits you guys. So go for pink lips as part of your makeup look. Gloss number 73, that pink shade is recommended again. And that one is actually recommended, I think, for all of the four sub-seasons. And also is number 86, Paprika. That bright, warm red. And that's going to give you really great contrast against, say, dark hair. If you do have dark hair and you're a blue spring. Liquid lips that are suggested, 101 Spring Pink and again 114 Melon Punch, that bright, warm, vibrant, warm red. So because I said I don't have a spring colour fan and I'm not able to tell you the names of the exact shades that would suit each of the sub-seasons of spring like I was able to do with the autumn video, there is a consultant that I follow who is called Casey. She's put up a, 
a video on TikTok and I will try and link that exact video where she goes through this chart with all of your four sub seasons and has shown the particular shades in your colour fan that best suit all of the sub seasons. Now this image is actually flipped and because I'm not able to like pause it directly and sort of see exactly the names of the shades and because I don't know the names of the shades within the spring palette, if you have your colour fan go and check out that video and then hopefully you can sort of see oh yeah actually that is this particular shade on here but like I say because I don't know the spring shades I'm not actually able to kind of help you guys and say exactly what shades within your colour fan best suit you but go and check that video out really really interesting video she's also a consultant that I follow who does some really good content and then a spring consultant that I follow as well her name is House of Colour Papillon and there's a video also on TikTok where she kind of breaks down all the four types of spring, but she's really good at putting up content for all of the seasons as well. So this is what I mean when I say don't just follow the consultants that have your season, follow as many as you possibly can. So if you are a House of Colour Spring, hopefully this video has been interesting, it's been useful to kind of talk through the differences of the sub-seasons. And if you are a spring, please let me know what sub-season of spring you are down below. And I will also be doing one of these videos for both summer and winter. And I'm looking forward to finding out more about these two seasons. So like I said at the beginning, if there is any information that I have missed out about any of these sub-seasons, please do drop a comment down below so people can learn from that as well and I can learn from that as well. Like I say, I'm an autumn, so I, I know about my season and my sub-season, but I'm learning more about the other seasons. So yeah, I hope it was interesting. I hope it was useful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't as well. I would love to have you here on my channel and I will see you again very soon for my next one.